probably one of the biggest schmucks of the gaming industry is without a doubt ex-baseball player Kurt Schilling. No offense. He blew an impressive $115 million on the development of Kingdoms of Amalur and his never finished MMO set in the same universe. A large sum of that $150 million even came from crowdfunding. Ouch. Three months after the release of Kingdoms of Amalur, his development studio, 38 Studios, went bankrupt, and shortly after that, Schilling lost his job at ESPN. Today, he's in bad papers as an advisor to Steve Bannon in a fraud case surrounding Trump's infamous Mexican wall. So yeah, 13 and a dozen bad lucks for this guy, but don't worry, he won't see a dime. Or Schilling. <laughs> if you decide to buy Kingdoms of Amalur, we reckoning. DIP changed owners when THQ Nordic bought it back in 2018. The German development company Kaiko, known for their equally dull named Red Faction Gorilla Remastered, <laughs> was allowed to give the game a nice spit shine. Now, in 2012, when the game originally released, it looked like the game came from 2007. No, not that game, but we'll get back to that one later. Thanks to its renewed textures, enhanced models, and anti-aliasing features, I'm happy to say that my opinion has roughly stayed exactly the same. The jaggy animations, clunky interface, and bad lip-syncing betrays the game for what it really is, a child from the previous generation console games. Now, it does sound like this remaster actually didn't remaster anything, but that's not entirely true either. The upgrades can be found in small, minute gameplay tweaks, like your enemies now scaling with your level, gathering XP has been streamlined, and loot is now better adjusted to your skill set. The new, very hard difficulty mode doesn't really add much to the game aside from double HP bars for your enemies. Re-Reckoning does bundle all DLCs, which is good for about 50 to 80 hours of gameplay, and a new DLC called Fates Warn is already in the works and is expected to release next year. And who knows, maybe THQ Nordic will resurrect the cancelled MMO from 38 Studios as well. Fingers and swords crossed. And thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more gaming news, reviews, and release roundups, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And I'll see you when I see you. That's awesome.